Incredibly news time, 9.30. From the Penn Medicine Studios, Penn Medicine and Virtua coming together for South Jersey. The news watch never stops. This is KYW News Radio 1060, the news authority in Philadelphia. Good morning, I'm John Ostakovich at the CBS Broadcast Center in Spring Garden right now. It is snowing and blowing again, 28 degrees, going to 33, but with the wind currently out of the northeast at 24 mph, feels like 14. In the news at this hour, well, pretty serious back bay flooding in several South Jersey towns, and the worst is yet to come. I'm David Madden in Ocean City. The storm is upon us, too, bringing snow and wind, fortunately, on a weekend. But for those who have to venture out, visibility is horrible. Roads are slippery. Road crews are trying to keep up with the wind and snow hammering the highways. I'm Mike DiNardo, checking out driving conditions in South Jersey. In sports, the blizzard shoots and scores. As many games scheduled for today have been moved to tomorrow. The Flyers, though, are still scheduled to play the Islanders up in New York tonight. I'm CBS 3 meteorologist Katie Failing. Our blizzard and winter storm warnings remain in effect from now right through tomorrow morning for heavy, steady snow and very strong winds. Gusts as high as 40 to 60 miles per hour, so power outages are a real threat, not to mention major coastal flooding. For the greater Philadelphia area, 18 to 24. Four inches, the expectation, and blowing and drifting snow will strongly reduce that visibility, so please don't travel if you don't have to. Our daytime high, in the meantime, no better than right around the freezing mark in most spots. That's your eyewitness weather on KYW News Radio. Currently snowing, blowing snow here at the CBS Broadcast Center in Spring Garden, 28 degrees, 26 at the airport, going to 33 degrees today. KYW News Time, 932. Storm Center traffic and transit on the two, sponsored by Access IT Group. Checkpoints only. Four-star elite partner in North America. Let's go to the traffic center. Southbound 202 at 29. Nothing getting through vehicles all over the highway. Good news, the police are on the scene, so you can see it before you hit it. The ramp from 76 east to 476 southbound. That's blocked with a tractor trailer stuck in a snow drift. In fact, there's two trucks there. About 95, not too bad, but do be extra careful. The on and off ramps, some of them are downright impassable. Flooding is an issue at the shore. The White Horse Pike at Delilah, uh, Delcy Drive at the Garden State Parkway. Also, the Black Horse Pike at the Atlantic City Expressway. Ocean City's underwater. Uh, the bridge is down to 25 miles an hour. Plus, you're dealing with the wind. A SEPTA service is suspended at Trevor Market, Frankfurt, and Broad Street Subway. Dart and NJT, all service suspended. Hi, John Butler with the Mark Financial Credit Union 24 Hour Traffic Center. You're listening to the Delaware Valley Severe Weather Information Station. Bailey's Furniture and the Philadelphia Inquirer sponsor continuing coverage on KYW News Radio and CBSPhilly.com. We're in the grip of this winter storm, but good. Looking out the window here, looking at the radar, it looks any respite we had is gone. Joining us live with the latest outlook is eyewitness meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, this just, well, it's coming back stronger? Well, we just continue to see sort of what I'd say is an ebb and flow with this storm, John, simply because you're going to see some dry air build in, then it fills back in on the radar with additional moisture. So you'll potentially see a couple of lulls throughout the course of the day, depending on your location especially through southwestern New Jersey, portions of Delaware. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's winding down, unfortunately. We are, uh, I would say, at this point, probably still at least 12 hours out from the end of this storm, possibly even last as many as 16 additional hours before we can say, okay, we're done with it, and we can wipe this lake clean and uh, just start to clean up. So blizzard warnings remaining in effect, essentially region-wide, but also winter storm warnings in the outskirts uh, uh, down through southern New Jersey, Cape May County, as well as Delaware, and then off to the north. North. But that said, you're going to be dealing with heavy snow and strong wind region-wide the rest of the day. We expect total accumulations to top off as high as 2 feet for the greater Philadelphia region, now including the Lehigh Valley, 12 to 18 inches for southern interior New Jersey and central Delaware, 6 to 12 along the Delaware-New Jersey coastline, where we're seeing some very active flooding just in the wake of the high tide, which actually came about uh, two hours ago at this point, so it's receding slowly, unfortunately. Uh, that said, we'll continue to see uh, this last, us, as we said, right through the rest of the day into tonight, and the snow should end, I'll say generally between 3 and 5 a.m. at the absolute latest tomorrow, so that's when we see these warnings uh, go out of effect. 
thankfully the wind starts to taper off too, but it'll still be with you through the day on Sunday, so still a lot of blowing and drifting going on, and it does get a lot quieter Monday and Tuesday, and we'll also see temperatures start to ease up there too, allowing some of the snow to have a chance to melt away. But you'll still, regardless, have a lot of cleaning up to do here by tomorrow. For now, here at the Broadcast Center in Spring Garden, 28 degrees, headed for 33, and reporting live with your eyewitness weather forecast. I'm CBS 3 meteorologist Kitty Failinger on KYW News Radio. Time as you see here today, I saw a gentleman who uh, helped dig out a cab that got stuck on Walnut Street earlier this morning, and I mean that's what's going on here. You got people coming out offering to help shovel uh, along these side streets because the snow is just unending. Um, all along, all along Broad Street, despite the fact that plows have had multiple passes during uh, through this snow emergency route, the entire uh, street is still covered. Uh, there was an emergency vehicle that went down South Broad Street, and it had trouble because there is so much snow um, that you have to, to deal with when driving. And um, there's actually no cars on the road except for a police vehicle right now, and that, uh, because most folks are inside. Um, there are a lot of plows out, even um, smaller plows are on the streets. People are bringing out the electrical um, snow blowers and things like that to try to remove this snow so that people can uh, continue to walk and move around. But the snow keeps coming, and every time they clear it, more comes. And this is going to be uh, what, what we're being told is that this is what it's going to be like for most of the day. So if you do have to come out, layer up, wear a hat, gloves, you need boots, because if you step off the curb into a snow drift, you could literally, your entire foot and half of your uh, calf could be covered in snow. So very dangerous conditions. The wind is picking up right now, um, and it's very cold. Um, the wind, the uh, snow is very wet and slushy in some spots, but it's, it's, it just sort of sits on your coat until you go inside. So um, so be careful as you maneuver throughout the city. Live in Center City, Cherry Gregg, K-Weather News Radio.